Hey guys, Brian Johnson here, and I want to talk a little bit today about learning online and how you get the information you need to succeed. And it's interesting because there's a lot of different uh, aspects and angles to this, so I'm going to kind of ramble for about five or six minutes, and I, I'd really kind of like to get some feedback on how you taught yourself internet marketing or domaining or affiliate programs or AdSense or blogging or whatever skills that you have developed, I'd like to know how you have come to acquire those skills. So really this post began simply because over the last several months I've really kind of dived into a lot of different areas and it's never fun to learn something new, especially when you, there's no like formal training system. And I would venture to say that most people that are online and that are successful online, I bet you a good percentage of those people didn't start off in life with, I'm going to be an internet marketer. I mean, in, the internet really is so new. I mean, we're talking, if you really think about it, the internet has only been out for 10 years. So the big, big players today might not be the big players five years from now. And obviously there's some people that have just gotten started that could be the Bill Gates of the, the next years to come. A little bit about myself, I'm actually a professionally trained chef. I went to French cul uh, culinary school. I got a degree from France. Now, I didn't go to France, but uh, the school I went to was actually governed by the French Embassy, and they had chefs fly over from France. And I worked through the Hotel Sofitel uh, school system. And I'm still very passionate about cooking today. It's an important part of my life. I, I like spending time having friends and family come over, and we, we have big feasts. But the reason I mention that is when I started off in life, you know, everybody's got to do something with their time. I wanted to be a chef. And as I became more fascinated with computers, really I kind of jumped into online internet marketing. And I was completely self-taught with the computer. I remember going into uh, my old room at my father's house. I actually had moved back to Minnesota from Colorado. I lived in Colorado for about four years. When I moved back to Minnesota to get established, I moved in with my folks for maybe two or three months to basically find a place of my own. I guess I was probably like 21 years old, maybe 22 years old. And my old room, he had a computer in it, and I started banging around. I was on AOL 1.5 at the time. And I remember years later learning about copying and pasting to give you an idea of what my technical knowledge was at the time, and I thought that was kind of neat. Um, since that time, I've, I've purchased dozens, not, I don't know about dozens, but many computers. I, I probably buy a new computer about every uh, year and a half or so just because they're on all the time. I, you know, I work eight, nine hours a day and, you know, things happen to them and you want a new, faster one and whatnot. But there's always something new to learn. And the process for me has been pretty incredible. I, I do consider myself very knowledgeable in a lot of different areas. I'm not any one expert in one particular area, but I'm, I'm comfortable in all kinds of different things. I can create a nice looking HTML page. I can use Dreamweaver. I can use WordPress. I can create uh, bang up websites using uh, WordPress like I mentioned. I know a good deal about affiliate marketing. Um, I've made most of my money through affiliate marketing. I've also done well with AdSense and contextual ad programs. And uh, I'm starting to get my feet wet, wet with domaining and understanding uh, how domaining works and, and, and whatnot. And all of these things were self-taught. And basically, I've always, I really like uh, how-to books. I remember when, when I was young and I started doing things like fishing, I would buy a book on how to fish, how to catch fish. You know, probably not a lot of people would buy a book on how to catch a fish. But I've always liked that kind of uh, uh, how-to and show me how to do it. So I, I'm kind of an ebook junkie. I buy a lot of ebooks. Um, not a lot, but I mean, when I need to learn something, I'm not afraid to spend a few bucks because I, I know I need to get the information. And a lot of times these ebooks, I don't learn a lot. And it's, it's more like a refresher course, but I feel like it's an important part of my education. And, and they say, you know, once you do something like 22 or 23 times or 24 times, it becomes. Uh, you know, part of your, your daily routine. So if I get an ebook, I might not get a ton out of it, but I usually don't think that it was a bad uh, purchase unless the book was just really garbagey, which most of them are okay. 
But once in a while you'll get an ebook that opens up so many avenues and is so informative and makes you think about different things. Um, recently I bought a, a video package by Charles Trippi, if you guys have heard of the Internet Millionaire. He was one of the finalists on Internet Millionaire and he's kind of a, a YouTube celebrity or web relic. Web rel you know, I can't say that word, but it's a new word, pun on now. Uh, celebrity and, and web, and so it's like web relity or I can't pronounce it, I get a tongue tied on that. but. Anyway, so how do you learn? I, I want to show you a little bit about the stuff I'm learning right now. It's kind of crazy. So that's the new computer. It's it's like uh, it's kind of one of these high tech quad processors, super fast. But it's uh, it's got the uh, Windows Vista in there. Now, if you know anything about Windows Vista, it's you know it's a learning experience. So I've I've had to learn a little bit about Vista, and so far I actually like it. I'm fine with it. I see some benefits, so that's fine. Um, um, it looks like here I've got uh, a bunch of these. I have all these kind of folders, and this is information about uh, building its store, and this is keywords down here. Now here you're going to see uh, Adobe Premiere 4. Now Adobe Premiere is actually software editing or uh, video editing software because I'm going to be kind of taking my online videos to the next stage in 2008 and I'll be excited to share some ideas with you about that. Now down here you can see all these folders I have and they're labeled. These are all of my ebooks. Can you believe this? This is crazy. But you know I do get some good ideas and uh, it's, it's nice to read those sometimes in bed or when I need to take a break from the computer and you know they, they provide some good information for me and plus remember they're a business expense. So the next thing I'm, I'm learning is I got this new cam camera here. I got, I'm all set up with the, uh, the real camcorder, about $500 camcorder. I didn't get HD just because at this time I felt I'm going to see how, how far this goes and how far I take it. And uh, if I'm still doing video in two years when HD video is more accessible online, then I'll just bump up the camera. So I got that, and I'm trying to figure out how to use that damn thing. And then I got the, the tripod, which is pretty f straightforward, but it's like trying to learn the, the tripod. And, and these are just some of the things that I'm trying to figure out here in uh, the end of 2007 as I move forward. And, and what are some of the things that you have had to struggle with? And where do you want to take your marketing uh, in 2008? And what kind of skills are you going to need to brush up on or to acquire in order to get there? So that's about it, guys. Feel free to stop by uh, DomainParkingMoney.net for some great tips on, on learning WordPress. There's actually a three-part series about uh, why maybe you don't want to park your domain or some great uh, domain parking options if you've got a bunch of domains in your portfolio that you haven't uh, used yet. That's it, guys. Take care, and I'm looking forward to your feedback.